Hello my friends, I'm Mr. Milk Lover, and thank you for joining me here in Equestria at War, starting a new campaign. And, from the title you can tell, we're going to play as Equestria. Now, I've never played as Equestria, I think, but like I do normally, game rules, no one's going to get buffed, it's all normal stuff. And, I played this mod using playing as a Griffonian Empire at least once. So, I know what's going to happen a little bit on this continent, not too much. But I really don't know what happens over here. So to the disappointment of some people, and to the excitement of other people, I'm just going to go and use Historical AI, just because I don't know what happens with Equestria. I don't know. So, why am I playing Equestria right now? Now, I have a Discord server in which there was a poll taken, in which there was like a list of several nations I could play as, or different games. And Equestria, basically, was the top pick from the choices that we offered for me to play. So that's why I'm playing Equestria right now. Um, if you want, if you would like to read the lore behind it, you can go right ahead and pause the video. And that's the second half of the lore. And just like with when I played as a Griffonian Empire, I'm not going to read all the events just because I want to save my mouth and not get dry mouth. and That takes forever. So, this is Equestria, and I know nothing about it except there's a princess... And we have Friendship Games, um, Ministry of Defense, Buffalo Relations, Buffalo Problem. Hmm. Well, we'll do Friendship Games. So one of the oldest traditions of Equestria is the Friendship Games, where ponies, griffins, and other folk participate in a number of sporting events. This event celebrates the friendship and understanding between all nations and peoples. The princess has expressed excitement at spectating the finest sport ponies competing against one another, which we get stability, political power... And we get people coming in here and doing doing stuff. So, oh my gosh, this looks like it's definitely diverse, I guess we'll say. I don't know. Let's see, cool, 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 early fighters. Talk, oh my goodness. Oh, converted ships. Oh my goodness. The beginning, opening, you know, playthroughs are weird. I don't even know what we need. Do we need motorized? I'm going to put one on motorized just in case. Support equipment, artillery, anti-tank, this stuff can wait. We always need plenty enough guns. Make sure we got enough artillery. That's good enough for now. I want to use close air support. I feel like using close air support, but we have bombers. Fine, I'll use bombers. So be it, whatever. Uh, and I'm gonna put you up here, actually. Thank you. Start making some on that. Get some research slots. We only have three, huh? That's interesting. Now we do have pony technologies, Earth and Pegasi. More population. I like that. I really like that. Magical mage companies, specialized training. Oh, maybe I should put some emphasis on using carriers first. Uh, land doctrines. Oh, we're going down grand battle plan. You know what? Let's stick with grand battle plan because I almost never use that. Sounds like fun. And what do we want to use? Light tanks, dockyards. Okay, so if we have to produce something. These look all garbage. I mean, well, maybe except for these. This one right here looks okay. Oh, but then when you actually look at it, it hurts me on the inside a little bit. Cool. We're going to do that one, and we'll choose one more capital ship. Converted battleship, which is really just a carrier. That's not bad, actually. 60 planes, that's not too bad. But an early battleship. Oh, you know what? I, 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 uh, no, 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 no. Level 1. Oh, that hurts me when I see level 1 stuff. Ah, uh, Baltimore. I'll use it. We'll upgrade. We'll get better ships and over time. Let's get some convoys going. Uh, and, of course, like normal, we want to build up infrastructure, but really civilian factories first. There you go. There you go. And on the coast seems pretty good to me. Ooh. Oh, hello. Nice. Oh, no, no, that's not nice. That's Oh, this is Crystal City, and we want to make a couple divisions. Garrisons? Uh, you know what? That sounds... That sounds alright, you know. We'll make a few garrison boys, ponies, whatever. And Royal Guards. That's... What? This looks like a good uh, garrison template. On Hooves? Alright, well, we'll make a lot of these then. So, I have a good, good, good feeling that we're going to need a lot of these divisions. So, like 12 at a time. Raise you up, lower you down. We need more uh, reinforcements. Royal Armor doesn't look too bad. And I guess this is the Special Forces Division for us. An awesome pony. Look at that. Oh, that, so that's how the guns are strapped to the ponies. That is one long tail. Oh, it even moves. Awesome. Cool. We'll train one of those, I guess, because we can. Cool. Let's let time go on and see what happens as I look at the Air Force or Navy. 
Oh, happy heart hearth swarming eve and happy new year. Several days ago, all ponies celebrated hearth swarming eve, and now the new year has come. Every pony on the streets are sharing an optimistic view on the future and wishing all strangers a happy new year because nobody's actually a stranger in Equestria. The princesses have given the traditional speech to the public as well, making a spirit making this spirit of harmony and unity known through all of Equestria. This sounds all nice and all, but something tells me things are going to end up not being super nice. Cool. Uh, you can carry your planes, which is fine. I'm not going to mess with you all. And goodbye. Early bombers, cool. I'm going to keep those gladiators there for now. We're going to do that, and we're going to set you guys a train. Let's put you up. That's good. Nice. Now the Air Force is taken care of. We have zero war percent. Zero percent war support. I can't speak. You know, words are words are hard, you know. Uh, you gotta do that. Can you all just, like, come together? No. Of course not. Shove them together. And see what this looks like. Alright, so we got a couple guys. A couple task forces now merging all together. We have a single carrier, which... 52% oh, reliability. Oh my god, that... Ah, uh, Why? 52 percent oh who, who in the right mind oh look at this evening squall naval hit chance torpedo screen torpedo screen oh penetration oh this is probably madure strong hammer is probably the one we want to choose dust hoover yeah let's go with this this madure looks looks female oh he oh he believes that the best way to hold the sea is by controlling the air okay well uh sort efficiency that's obviously good for carrier stuff so we'll do that we can let time go on. I definitely want to train. We get quite a bit of fuel every day. Let's do that. And let's at least pull off one group. So we've got three battle cruisers. We're going to pull off. Let's see. One, two, three. Take quite a few destroyers. So we need 12 here, six. Oh, man. Um, 15. No, that's really not good. Oh, but that's okay. We have two task forces. That's kind of okay with me. You guys are going to do great. Just, even if they become, like, veterans and stuff, that really won't matter to me. Just, I need a bunch of naval XP and a bunch of air XP, too. So, maintain the status quo. Examine the situation. Ministry of Defense. Well, that's... Princess Luna becomes a field marshal. I like that. There's stuff over here, too. Prevent the vote. Search for compromise. The end of the Civil War. Now, I really have no idea what we're doing here. Civil, Civil, Civil War. Oh. Uh, I kind of want to just play historically. Maybe I should not have played as Equestria. But what, regardless, whatever. You guys, war base, da da da. Urgent war committee. Well then. Well, let's go and maintain the status quo. So, during these times of change in the world, Equestria must stand firm and hold onto its beliefs, freedom, friendship, and harmony for all. Sounds nice, friendship games. Cheers, love. Cheers. Uh, oh, wait, we can develop railroads. We get more infrastructure. That's good. Trade with Skyfall. Uh, helps consumer goods. Production. Cap. That seems pretty good. Baltimore. Ooh. April Grove Mines. Small bonus. Resource-wise, I mean, we're doing well in resources. We do need a little bit of aluminum. I kind of like this, though. Like, I want to build more infrastructure. But it does use a, does use a civilian factory. As soon as we get to 15, 16, I guess, 16 civilian factories, so that we can have, like, two lines going at the same time, then I'll do that other stuff. The Emperor is dead. Our condolences to the great Kryponian Empire. So now, this is on historical. The last time I played Equestria War was with, obviously, the Kryponian Empire. So, I didn't really know what was going on over here. I did know a little bit about what was going over on this side of the world, but on this continent, I'm like, it's Equestria. Wait, who's here? How could I? That makes sense. So I really don't know what's going to happen over here since I, in my Gryphonian Empire run, killed everyone. Like, sub, just, you know, took over everyone. Took over everyone. You know, we... I literally just annexed everyone in the end. Maybe except for the Arcturian Order, but you know, whatever. Whatever. We currently get 0.5 for political power day. That's not a lot. Hmm. Maintain the status quo. Support harmony. Oh, uh, that'd be cool. Is there any real good point for us to do that? Game-based ability, diplomatic shelter, national spirit, equestrian influence. Uh, stage a coup. Passive influence. Material support. Buffalo stuffs. Hmm. Examine the situ- Oh, examine the situation seems like a good idea. 
Oh, civilian factors? That seems pretty good, so let's examine the situation. So, with tensions growing abroad, organizing a commission to deliberate the efficiency or efficacy of our foreign and internal policies and to propose improvements is of the most utmost importance. Oh. A question cannot remain asleep against an approaching danger. No, we cannot. Now we got a little bit of political power. What can I do with it? I could change none of this. Oh my gosh. What do we have? The Forgotten Tribe. Huh. Stagnation of... Oh my god! Stagnation of Harmony? She's been ruling for a thousand years, and yet she looks not old. Ooh. A magic of friendship, of course. Ooh. That actually hurts us a little bit. Alicorn Sisters. Haven of Pony Kind. That's cool. What do we have here? Oh my god, that's plus 15% political power game. Stability, magic research time, and regular research speed. <clears throat> oh, silent work pony. Oh. Twilight Sparkle is like. I gotta do Twilight Sparkle. I can't do any of this yet either, so that's kinda sucks. We're on one, one and a half. We have a developed science space, which is great. We have a modern society, and we're pony race. I'll go Twilight Sparkle. That'll help. 0.75 political power a day. Good, good, good. We are running out of fuel. We definitely need more motorized support equipment and tanks. Now, I just said all that, and I can't even remember what I just said. Motorized support equipment. Motorized. We'll do that. Something like that. Support equipment's got more than enough. Ooh. Oh, good. I forgot about my army here. Um, Coastal guards. There you go. You guys should all be the same. Eight combat width, which will make you ten later on. Uh, you'll be led by Princess Blue Blood. Uh, Whiplash. Well, you got a nice mustache. I'll go put you here. Let's see. And put you here. Put you here. Ghosts. Awesome. And let's go ahead and do divide this up. And before I forget, before I forget, there you go. Got to make sure I put enough supply down here. Definitely got to make sure I do that. Oh, it's just all one big thing. Okay, as soon as I put you on the job, you get ill. Oh, well, well, whatever. Hopefully that doesn't happen too often. Las Pegasus. Civil War and Longsword. That is... something. It's kind of hard to see exactly how all these are arranged. That's okay. Oh, oh. Something tells me we've got to be ready for war against those guys eventually as well. Let's see. Anyone else? Anywhere else? Yeah. There's a lot of coasts here. Philadelphia, cool Baltimore, Ma Maine, Hatton. St. Peter's Hoof. Of course, this little place here. And then this little enclave up here. Nice. Oh my god, what the heck happened? So, the dotted line report. On the desk of Princess Celestia, there's a disturbing report. Commissioned by the small bureaucracy, painted a grim picture of what could happen were a question to find herself attacked by any enemies beyond her borders. Uh, focuses on Stalingrad. Whatever the rhetoric coming out of the Palace of Soviet says were to happen, the Royal Guard with less than 10,000 soldiers in the area would find itself swept away by the Red Army, which the report reckons would get as far as Albion and Transylvania before moving to threaten Mainheim. Royal Guard... Um, large cuts made to the Royal Guard over the recent years, and blames them for the near defeat at Canterlot. Ooh. Five-fold increase in the budget. Grim is part of the report. Changelings. Information is rare about them, so we don't know everything about them. The report says that if a full changing invasion was to occur, a question would surely fall within two years of such an invasion, unless radical and controversial measures were taken, including overhauling the whole state to mobilize all resources. Uh, there's a lack of modern methods in education... EAA, EEA, and industry being mentioned as a core problems. Well, there's a wake-up call, and a modest proposal. Celestia frowns, slipping through the reports of missing weapons shipments. She started in surprise as Luna entered. Uh, there's a conversation between Luna and Celestia, which sounds kind of cool. Of course, it'd be... The bad ponies had hardly been willing to join the 30 tribes after their princess was banished to the moon. Even after Luna's return, they were suspicious. But bad ponies weren't the real problem. It was equestrians. A small force is easy prey at night, and something about the night-loving bats seemed to install fear and mistrust even among many. When Nightmare Moon rose, terrified ponies attacked bat ponies and drove them into the mountains. Ancient prejudices still lingered. We shall do better. We shall do it together, sister. Support Luna's reforms. This is a risk-free path, but we'll take effort. You could do what I couldn't, Luna. It could end very well or very badly. I'm not sure that's wise. Potential reforms without Celestia. This could end very well. Uh, like, I don't know. I really don't know at the time of this recording, so I'm just going to do it together, sister. That sounds really, really weird to say. 
But let's go ahead and get some more civilian factories. Mainhine Steel Factories. Mainhine? Mainhine. Manhattan is not only our largest urban center, but an industrial powerhouse as well. Where else should we invest but in the booming metropolis? This is what we need to get our industries to start growing. Expanded steel mills will be able to supply facilities across the entire nation. Oh, more political power. Great. You know what? To help offset things... Oh, what is down here? Industry specialist. Maud Pai. Ooh. Let's let time go on a little bit first. That's fine. I mean, we don't have a... Th I can't get a theorist, which is really disappointing. Uh, oh, wants to hold Crystal Fair. Princess C Cadence, Candence, Cadence, has requested us to support the Crystal Fair celebration. She fears that they simply cannot afford the entirety of its coast, and the Crystal Ponies could really use something to cheer them up. For, but how do we respond? We don't have money for that. Oh yeah, go ahead, have a little thing. Agent of Smile, of course. Of course. Uh, we want to build more civilian factories, so that might be good, but I'm going to get political power, just so that we almost, almost have one a day. Almost. Okay, so we want to get a carrier. That'll be good. That'll be smarts. And if we want carriers, we got to get carrier planes. What am I doing? I need to do industry. What am I doing? I am definitely not thinking here. Cool, but we'll focus more on industry stuff once this is all done, too. So, Especially once this is done. I was just enamored. I'm just like, I can't even think when I'm playing this mod now. Can't even think. Oh. Where did you guys come from? You guys. Oh, no, no, you guys are new suitors. I'm telling you, I can't think right now. I'm going crazy for something. Uh, cool. Wunderbolt's Land Division. That's cool. You guys are the Royal Guards, which, honestly, you're kind of lacking, not going to lie. Uh, you guys. Just combine with these guys for now. We'll separate you guys later. Cool. Field Marshal. Blue Blood. More Pretty good on defense. Politically connected, which I don't like. Pony and... Oh, Summer Sun Celebration. Life is good in Equestria. Prince of Equestria. Bus supply consumption, more recovery rate, and more max speed. Max planning, I mean. Crystal Fair. I'm gonna go with offense when we can. That seems pretty good to me. And Soren. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's cool. And then Fast Clip. Does he shoot any faster? I hope he would. And you guys are... Team Special Forces. I don't want to use my political power on that for now. The business community. Celestia and Luna may be monarchs, but no monarch rules alone. Twisting hooves, sweet talking, compromises, and judicious wielding of absolute authority are all necessary to ensure that the policies are in place on the ground, just not in the books. Hmm. And I have a cup of equestrian coffee here. Celestia's first target is the business community. Equestria's rapid industrialization has brought a need for cheap labor, and many manufacturers have been kind enough to offer bat ponies jobs with conditions and pay far below the normal pony. It appears, or certainly doesn't help, that most of the authorities are asleep during typical bat pony working hours. Ideally, throwing us, or throwing the worst offenders in jail, compromising with unions to welcome bat ponies, offering incentives on, for on-the-book bat ponies, and ensuring the authorities are doing nighttime checks, should fix the worst of the behavior, but is it really worth the cost? You know what? We don't need bad ponies. How about we get full automation for Equestria? Festral labor crackdowns. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, compromise is Equestrian way. Some token reforms here and there. Uh, full implementation. Oh, that would piss off people, but that's only for a year. We lose, we do lose two factories, but I just got two factories. Oh, what happened here? Hmm. You know what? Full implementation. Let's not think about the consequences. Well, actually, by removing two factories, we got one more factory in Canterlot. Alright, well, whatever. It works. Uh, do we want to trade? That'll help with consumer goods for... Yeah, I think that'd be worth it, actually. And we get 0.96. That's not bad. Mm, Skyfall! Upsettingly, it seems that the traders Skyfall do not want to wish to engage in trade with us. <sighs> we try, we try, we try, my friends, but people do not listen. Uh, coffee is just... Question coffee is just... Mm, good stuff. Go ahead and train. I don't have a good surplus of these guys, but I'm going to keep training these guys until they're, like, dead. So, anti-bat pony radicalism. While bat ponies have not traditionally been equestrian citizens, they have had all the rights of any other visitor to our welcoming community. They fear not our laws, but our radicals. The ponies who drop anonymous threats in mailboxes bring vigilante justice to bat pony criminals and spread hate and fear to all who will listen. The Canterlot bureaucracy has prepared a de-radicalization initiative, naming and shaming those sympathizers, police infiltration of radical groups, and new powers to combat hate speech. 
oh man, this seems like a huge bureaucracy. Unfortunately, such radicals are mostly found amongst our more militarist population who have been pushing for increasing military preparedness. A crackdown will likely erode our likely already limited resolve for war and defense preparation. Extremism will not be tolerated. Hold on. That makes things interesting. We could probably overlook extremism in the military. And right now, uh, we have most support for harmony. We cannot defend bad ponies if we cannot defend Equestria. Hmm. Anti-hate initiative. Oh, man. I feel like there's a message being sent here, but I'm just not thinking about it right now whatsoever. So, it is what it is! And, of course, they, I guess that would be right to choose that anti-hate initiative. That hurts my daily political power. The Grand Galloping Gala. So, Fethizian deal. An envoy from Fethizia recently arrived with new news of a business opportunity. They wish for us to invest in their nation with the hopes that it will help them with their economic troubles and that we can profit from it once they recover. You know what? They don't want tariffs between our nations? We can't pass this up? Mmm. Let's see what happens. We'll see what happens. I don't trust too many people here. We'll see what happens. 49,000 pony power. Not bad. Not bad. Could be could be a lot better. What's our population like? Casually, 50 million. Now, nah, let's go back over here because I I had the big dumb. I just was not smart. Oh, and, of course, industrial research speed really kills me here. Oh, my God. I should have realized that, too. Oh, that's so bad. Why did I do that? Land auction. Oh, 300. Days. Oh, my God. I feel so... Oh. Daring. Oh, I remember this when I was playing as Poland in that one mod. That Polish superpower mod, and... Yeah, gotta check that one out. But yeah, I feel like I'm not really thinking here. I'm really not thinking when I say I feel. Hmm. You're not supposed to feel, you're supposed to do. Uh, infrastructure. Las Pegasus. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. The Trans Equestrian Railway. Military. Oh, I like the military factories. Hmm. Ministry of Defense, Reunited Unicorns, Management Research. Oh, I get a research slot. I love it. Support Harmony? We Actually, what is this like for our subjects? So, oh, it's, we could do it. Oh, we have also New Maryland, too. Hmm. Political power for them. Alright. Oh, they get another research slot. Sombra, Sombra Scare. I want to get the extra research stuff, so School for Gifted Unicorns. Celestia School for Gifted Unicorns, Equestria's premier educational institution for magically gifted, has recently fallen on hard times. With some extra funding, that we could renovate its facilities and increase the quality of education young unicorns will receive. This will certainly help to improve the research capabilities of our nation. And here we go. Popular mistrust. Radicals in business corruption are important issues, but it is our lack of friendship that truly shames us. Ponies don't simply like or, or trust Festrals, and it colors every interaction between our societies. Fortunately, nowhere is more equipped to handle this problem than the land of friendship. As Princess of Friendship, Twilight Sparkle has drawn up a campaign plan that stretches down the hallway. The plan is, is as inspired and diversive as it is complex and expensive. Speaking towards by the elements of harmony, rewriting EEA syllabi to teach the history of the Festrals, love of bat day, government awareness campaigns, funding for bats rights activists, friendship clubs, the list goes on. Oh my god. Our budget is tight. A little could go a long way. Are we not a nation of friendship? Uh, well, I guess this seems like the right answer to do. I don't know. I, I, I legit have no idea. No book reform. Reforms being implemented. Our campaigns to reform labor, oppose radicalism, and promote friendship has drawn up and are being put into action. We can, now all we can do is wait. It's up to the ponies. Well, this is definitely one path we're taking. <laughs> I, I, I just don't know what's going on, man. It seems like I do. Actually, I do kind of know what's going on, but it seems very odd. Very interesting, though. Quite interesting. And we still want to get some more army XP, because that's going to be important, so let's train you guys, too. You all... Mm, we don't really know the resources, resources to train them. I need more guns. We have plenty of artillery, so we're going to do it like this. You guys are going to do that. You guys are going to do that. Um, we need some down here, too. So, I'm sorry, artillery. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. We got plenty of naval XP as well. So, that being said, we can let time go on. We can get the carrier, which should act pretty okay like. Let's get some hangar space, some more hangar space. I like 
I always like putting on a little bit of armor. I guess it helps with HP as well. We have no radar there. Hmm. We'll save this for now. We're not going to make it yet, though. Just because I want a little bit of radar. Well, we only have three research slots. And that's going to take a while for me to get over here. I should have done that first. I don't know what I was thinking. I obviously wasn't. You know what? Whatever. Go to make it when you're done. Um, we'll probably do four. There you go. Baltimore. So, it tended to be in the past that we only accept those who could pull favors that had a lot of connections or were just plain lucky that could attend the school for gifted unicorns. But no more is the case. The cash injection that has been performed by the Crown has been immensely helpful in broadening the appeal and fields of the schools for gifted unicorns. Having moved most of the facilities from the older, historical, if cramped quarters in the core of Candelot to a more modernized place in the outskirts of Candelot, the new sprawling campus will be more adequately handle, be able to more adequately handle the many breakthroughs and inventions that are being pumped out of Equestria's scientific community. Many of the new students and faculty have had some of Griffonia's brightest that have fled the political turmoil wing body and some parts of the Empire more for more fertile lands. They have certainly found them here in Equestria. Oh, that's cool. We get more research speed. Luna Nova Academy. With more funding and subsidies, the Luna Nova Academy will be able to fund more, bigger projects, and contribute more to our national research development. Princess Luna will be undoubtedly happy to see more ponies attend her school. Yeah, more research speed and more better magic time. That's cool. 0.8 a day. That's not ideal. Cool. So what's going on here? Uh, what are you guys doing? Ah, uh, Regency Council. I guess this is historical, huh? The Archon. That's cool. Let's see, we can only get 0 0.01 to a day. Navally, we get 0 0.81, which seems, you know, okay. Ooh. You are a... Ooh. You come right there. And even though we're training without fuel, that is totally okay with me. Totally okay. Because we need it. And we still get a little bit more air XP. Almost no air XP, but that's okay. Well, at least we're getting better research speed. Less political power gain, more daily harmony support. We are currently at 79.43. Now, I would love to go this, but we need a lot more war support. Mm. Or we can bash us for communists, which sounds like fun. Northern. Ooh. What about tanks? Stallion Company, Mustang Developments. Ah, so today what was once a pipe dream in the minds of the researchers of the Luna Nova Academy has been made reality. Made possible with a massive injection of funds from the crown, the Luna Nova Academy has moved from its older campus to the newer, more modern, magically powered campus. Housed in the old clockwork towers outside Ponyville, the laboratories and study halls stretch deep underground with several testing areas housed both above and below the ground. With the new facilities, several old inventions which had been put been put in mothballs by lack of funds, facilities, or both have been pulled out and begun field testing, and depending on what is chosen at the highest level, may see full-scale deployment within the year. It is expected that the institution's patron, HM Princess Luna, will make a visit to the place in the very near future. Great. And let's do some public schools. More funding for public schools means smarter, better educated ponies. At least hopefully. Ponies who would surely contribute to research in one way or another. Well, you'd hope they become more educated, but you never know. Um, you know what? That's a long time. 81 days is better. Mm -mm. Good. Oh, as soon as we look at this, it just just hits the, it hits the ceiling. It just hits the ceiling. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you can come right here. Nice. That all you guys do that. Not bad. Oh, do we have more? Oh, yeah, we do. Awesome. Stalin grads looking... Oh. Oh, Supreme Soviet. Wait, who's our country? Winter Moon Celebration, Double Diamond. The New Equality Party. Past of Equality. Closed City State. That's interesting. Our neighbors. Ursula Major Problem Minor. Oh, uh, I'm not going to read this, but if you want to, go ahead. Equestria, though, is a modern nation. So, yeah. Like I said, I wasn't going to read everything, but, you know. This seems kind of interesting. Our revolution in Nova Graponia. Our transit system. Second Achillean revolution. That's cool. Well, let's let time go on. And completely forget about what's going on in the world and enjoy Equestria friendship games. Oh. Looks like the Reich's Pack isn't doing so well right now. Graffiti Impact, River Coalition. 
Follow the reforms. Luna cheerfully began her nightly rounds of the palace. She passed offices where fat bony bureaucrats worked throughout the night, continuing the shifts from their daytime counterparts. Manhattan was called the city that never sleeps. Well, it had become true here in Candlelot, too. So, uh, employment opportunities, new attitude of tolerance, a change would take years, decades even to be fully felt, but public discrimination was now the exception, not the rule. And Pony stood ready to protect the new friends from it. It's wonderful, isn't it? Luna turned in surprise to find Celestia regarding her. Luna tried to speak, but instead found herself crying. Celestia had made her dreams real. 1,000 years in exile, all because she'd been too proud to ask for help. Celestia hugged Luna as the blue mare sobbed, cradling Luna in her wings. She would never let Luna down again. Awesome. The forgotten tribe is gone. That only helps us. Only helps us. Oh, we're out of... Oh. That's not good. Happy 1,000... 1,008, though. It's a good year. It's a good year for new opportunities and new things. The parishes of Sikamyon during the Concordat of Southern Nations. What is the Crystal Empire doing? Past glory, man, that is... Hmm, mi amore. So, even with the strengthening of higher learning, we must all remember that the ABCs and the 123s come first. The overhaul of the public school system in Equestria had long been overdue. Still teaching subjects and topics that have been mentioned as being outdated when Colt Lumbus made landfall in New Maryland. Hyperbole, to be sure, but a damning... In indictment of the state of education nonetheless before our reforms. The recent reform package that we have just rolled out into the school system has provided for a good and modern education for the Phillies and Colts of Equestria. When they go forth and receive new education, they will carry with them a new world in their hearts. Sounds expensive. Canterlot Center for Research. With a new educated society and youth, Canterlot shall become the very center of education, research, and innovation. Equestria's best and brightest will flock towards Canterlot, making cooperation much easier. Hmm. We need more guns. We ponies need guns. What is a buffalo chieftain doing? Chieftess Stronghearts. Basili. Okay, so yeah, I did yeah, early on I did make sure that this is on uh historical, which makes sense here. But probably in the future campaigns when I play Equestria War again, I probably won't go with historical. Just so you know. For the most part. Uh United Dragon Isles, cool interventionism interventionism focus. Oh, this is a generic focus tree, huh? I was kind of under the uh, idea that, m well, I guess most countries probably have focus trees by now, but yeah, I don't know. I don't really follow this mod too much, but whatever, you know, whatever. That's cool. Not every mod is done yet. I mean, they're still working on it, which is great. Gotta love the devs. Love the devs. They put their life and souls into this mod. and It's a good mod. It's a good mod. Cool. I want to fork. What can we do here? We tried this earlier. We'll probably get the same result, honestly. We could ban communism, but that really doesn't help us with that much stability. Yeah, that doesn't seem really good. We try it again. And Skyfall says... Oh, yeah, news from the great city of Skyfall our offer has been accepted. New wealth should begin to flow into our nation soon. Costs us, you know, 100 political power, but that's okay. Construction 1 is done. That's a, that's a long time. That's a, that's a... That's a very long time. Grand battle plan, cool. But we do get another research slot when we're done here. Which will be amazing. Guns? We're doing okay in guns. We get about 60 guns a day. Motorized is looking okay. Support equipment is looking not too bad. We definitely should get some more light tanks. Yes. Does anyone have a moment to spare a factory? That'll be good. We definitely need more factories. We've got a good amount of fighters. We need more of this. Um, you guys can come down there. Definitely work on tanks and motorized. That'll probably be... Probably the most important thing to do. And do we have any new ships? Yeah, nice. Very good, very good. Ah, oh, Cantalot Center of Research. Ease the rules of EEA. Strengthen the authority. Magical studies. Magical training. Well, that seems kind of cool. Doesn't, doesn't seem really necessary right now. Changeling problem. But the next thing we'll do Southern Roads. I don't know. Increase presence. And Crystal Empire. Let's do that one. So, the Crystal Ponies and their royal family are our most loyal allies, and it would be best to keep it that way. Princess C Cadence and Shining Armor could be of use or helping Hoof with administration as well. Cool. So, let's get one more thing here, and then we'll call it an episode, my friends. So, that is the very beginning of us playing as Equestria. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know. What else I should do with Equestria? Some tidbits, some information, some tips that I should know as we go through this campaign together. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.